Do you have a bikepacking ride coming up and you're wondering what to pack? Well, today I'm going to show you everything I'm going to pack for my next ultralight race. Hey guys, Dylan with the Seasoned Bikepacker where we cover all things bikepacking. I'm sharing with you my setup before the race. I'm going to be shooting video during the race and then I'm going to do a post ride recap to see if everything went to plan or not. So be sure to like and subscribe. So the race is called Pinions and Pines. It starts and ends in Flagstaff, Arizona at about 7,000 feet. The course is 310 miles and approximately 25,000 feet of climbing. Logistically, there's water about every 60 miles and food every 100 miles. I'm riding a 2018 Moto Bacane Phantom Titanium Hardtail with a Fox 34 Stepcast 120 millimeter fork on the front. The drivetrain is a one by 11 speed, SLS crank set, 30 tooth chain ring, a Sunrace, 11 to 50 tooth cassette and a stock Shimano XT derailleur with a XT chain. I have mismatched carbon wheels front and back with Maxxis Recons. I live and die by these tires. My cockpit is a KS Lev 100 millimeter dropper with an Ergon saddle, 800 millimeter Renthal carbon fat bars with Ergon grips. Let's talk about bags. I have a Revolut harness with a dry bag and a pouch up front. I got two Revolut feed bags. The top tube has a J-Pack foot long and a Revolut jerry can. And the frame bag is an Oveja Negra wedgie. You'll notice I don't have a seat bag. I have a small tool wrap that carries all my tools. I don't particularly like having a big long seat bag when I ride. I'll put a link to my gear spreadsheet in the description below, but today I'm going to highlight the most critical gear I wouldn't leave home without. My sleep system is a 28 degree down bag, down booties, a Big Agnes Fly Creek HV UL1 fast fly, and a pillow. I don't really like sleeping on the ground. Some people can do it, I can't do it. I need a pillow, a pad, a sleeping bag, and booties, because my feet get cold. My toolkit consists of a tube, a bike tool, a bike lever, CO2, an inflator, a tire plug kit, a patch kit, thread, a cleat bolt, a quick link, sewing needle, tweezers, and a mini pump. I plan to do a lot of night riding. I'm packing a Phoenix PD36R with a two fish helmet mount and one extra battery. And I only need one light on my helmet. I've experimented with lights on the handlebars, but I prefer to have it on my helmet, one light, good to go. Well, for hydration and water filtering, I'm carrying a Sawyer Squeeze. Threads nicely up to the smart water bottle. I really like this system. You can pick up the smart water bottles at any gas station during resupply. It's easier to fill up than the pouches and the pouches don't seem to last. I've actually had pouches wear holes through them on trail. For navigation, I have my trusty Garmin E-Trex 30 from the Stone Age, but it works and it's great. I cannot live without Squirrel's Nut Butter. This is the best saddle butter I can find. I struggled for years to try and find the right saddle butter that worked for me, and they nailed it. In fact, I DNF'd this race two years in a row because I didn't have squirrels nut butter. But now I have it, and I never leave home without it. Another must have for me is the hydration vest. I have this Ultimate Direction vest. It works fantastic. I gotta thank Neil B for this one. Uh, he turned me on to this vest on his great videos. It allows for two hydration flasks in the front so you can kind of change up what liquids you're putting in. You can put Gatorades or sodas in the front and keep water and powders in the back. It's really uh, great and it evenly distributes the water weight from front to back. My final must-haves on my list are rain gear, top and bottom, and a Patagonia Nano Puff with the hood. I sleep in what I wear so if I need to add an extra layer I'll throw on those rain pants and the rain jacket and that Nano Puff and get another 10 degrees out of my sleeping bag. I'm not real great at sleep deprivation, so I'm going with what I'm calling the 5-10 plan. Up at 5, on the bike, off the bike at 10 p.m. It'll give me 17 hours of riding, which is a long day. I'm fast, I'm lightweight on my bike, so I can cover ground quickly. But this plan allows me to have enough sleep so that I feel fairly recovered the next day and I can string together 100 mile days one after the other. So if I'm riding for 17 hours a day, I require approximately 300 calories an hour. That's round about 5,000 calories a day. So that's my plan is to fill my extra capacity on my bike bags with 5,000 calories worth of food. So I hope this has been helpful. Be sure to check out that spreadsheet. It shows you where I pack every single component into each bag and where I distribute all of my weight. It's a really helpful tool for me to figure out where to put what 
and not to forget anything. If there's anything specific you want me to go into, leave it in the comments below. Well, good luck on your next adventure, and we'll see you next time.